So I know y'all remember this drop by Mr. Quinn Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so I know y'all remember Mike Williams got injured earlier in the season, which ultimately set up my fantasy team for failure as well. But this left the charges with just Quinn Johnson and Keenan Allen. So the realistic thing to do here is put Austin Eckler at receiver. Yes. Us doing that makes him a 76 overall. And these are his ratings. Great speed, great excel, 77 catching, and he has good uh, short route running. And he's about 5'10", so he'll play that slot receiver role. And But he's a pretty physical back, and he has pretty good carrying with 86, so be able to break tackles. But because Quentin Johnson can't do right in his rookie year, Eckler has to change from running back to receiver. All right. We got a first and 10, Jay Herbo and the Chargers. Eckler's all the way to the left, so I'm just going to throw it to Keenan Allen, who dices up the defense, breaks tackles all the way down to the 29-yard line. But wait, we can put Eckler still in running back? What? Why could we do that? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is kind of fire. Eckler still? Okay. One carry, seven yards. Wait, what? Why is he able to play that? Wait, let's check that out real quick. Let me look at the depth chart. Yeah, it's Josh Kelly and Isaiah Spiller. And Eckler's receiver number two. All right. Hey, I'll take it. If they're going to still put in place for him to run the ball, I'm with it. All right. So, obviously, Eckler's not going to be in on this play. We got Donald Parham wide open. Dude, this guy's huge. Justin Herbert's two for two, 64 yards. We're pretty much dicing them on this drive. But on this slant route here, this is where I want to look for Eckler on the right side. He's one-on-one. -on -one. This should be great. Eckler. Easy touchdown. Let's go. Obviously, our defense can't stop this freaking onslaught of a Miami Dolphins offense. But nonetheless, we got a third and five here. We could pick this up. I see they sent a blitz. Austin Eckler breaks tackles all the way down to the 20 yard line. Jay Herbo, six for seven, 115 yards, one touchdown. Love to see it. At this point, let's see if we get Eckler his second receiving TD of the day. Uh,. Eckler is in at running back. They put him in at running back here. Okay. So Eckler's still going to get his touches. Oh, my gosh. The do it all back. Eckler gets a rushing touchdown and a receiving touchdown. I like it. Okay. Well, for some reason, Eckler gets to play. Hold on. No. I had Eckler one-on-one, -on -one, but I got sacked, dude. I had him. Second and 21, but O-line couldn't hold up, obviously. I'm trying to see if we could throw uh, Eckler, like, a deep pass here. Okay, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I thought he came down with that, but no, he did not. And with a third and 21 here, we'll just let Eckler run this out. Ah! Yeah, we bit, we got like three yards. And so the rest of this game goes on. We're down 21 to 17. Uh, oh, no, we were up 21 to 17. So it's a tight game. We keep going back and forth, but it looks like if we give up a touchdown here, we don't. We gave up three points. Red zone position. We're up 28 to 27. Let's see if we can stop the Dolphins. And we do. We actually ended up winning 28 to 27. Jay Herbo had a 52 completion percentage, but threw three touchdowns. And he had a 126 pass rating. Only completed 11 passes. Two would throw a pick, unfortunately. Eckler had four carries, 27 yards, one touchdown. Love to see it. Jay Herbo had 10 carries, 26 yards. Joshua Kelly led with 10 carries, 45 yards. And receiving-wise, obviously Tyreek did Tyreek things. Keenan Allen, three catches, 77 yards, one touchdown. Love to see it. Eckler, two catches, 28 yards, and one touchdown for himself. Not bad for a receiver number two. So let's see how he does for the rest of the season. And we are two and four. <laughs> Just got blasted 34 to 13 by the Chiefs. Okay. Um, our offense is ranked 28th. Justin Herbert, 10 touchdowns, two picks. Isn't even playing bad either. Eckler has 22 carries, 86 yards, three touchdowns, running the ball. And he has 17 catches, 208 yards, three touchdowns, receiving the ball. Okay. Um, Quentin Johnson is getting more catches. But, you know, we're doing this to try to see if the Chargers can, you know, help themselves. You know, because just because they lost Mike Williams. But it doesn't seem like they want to, <laughs> that, that it's going to work for some odd reason. But Eckler's at a 77. Johnson's at a 44. Oh, 44, <laughs> 74, and yeah, I'm not going to touch anything else on the team. They're two and four. Eckler, I want to say hopefully he'll finish with about like seven to 800 receiving yards. I don't know about rushing yards though, but 
let's go to the playoffs and see if we can even sneak in for that too we end up going seven and ten we got blasted again by the chiefs 14 and three all right so the chiefs are just on a tear in this franchise um okay so seven and ten maybe what they're actually going for but statistics oh my gosh Mahomes at 51 touchdowns and almost 5,000 passing yards yeah MVP season offense finished 22nd Jay Herbo was 10th in passing yards 14th in passing touchdowns and 28th defensively uh 25 touchdowns seven picks for our boy Eckler had st stuck with 22 carries 86 yards three touchdowns he didn't have any more rushing attempts after that and he finished with 50 catches okay 587 yards and seven touchdowns but Quentin Johnston did more. He had more catches, more yards, and less touchdowns. So Eckler was the touchdown machine. But kind of surprising considering that we put Eckler at receiver and he's a high overall. But I guess they just didn't use him. So Austin Eckler at receiver, I think, might have been a fail.